In fact, I, I believe we have Kate Andrews uh, on the phone right Great. now with us. Uh, Kate, how are you doing? Hi, Father. Hi, Kevin. How are you guys doing there? Very well, thank you. We're doing great. Now, you, you came in uh, yesterday to Philadelphia. I was wondering if you could uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you've seen so far and the uh, excitement that is, is taking place in Philadelphia. Well, it is so exciting here, Kevin. Of course, yesterday, um, Laura and I came by, picked up our credentials, and there was some registrants, early registrants registering, and they were very excited, very organized here. It's been, it's been nice to see. Um, but then this morning we got here, and of course more people coming in. Um, we got to speak with a lot of people. Um, one priest actually from the Ukraine traveled here all the way from the Ukraine, and he was thrilled um, to be there. He said as soon as he found out that Pope Francis was going to be making the trip, he thought, why not, why not me as well? I'm going to make the trip. Um, we also spoke with a group from Tanzania who traveled 24 hours to get here, wow. um, and, a, and a couple from Ireland who took their newborn baby on a plane for seven and a half hours. So it's been, people have been making the trek from all over the world just because they want to be part of this event in the United States. It's been incredible. So thousands of people here. Um, there was also an opening ceremony today that was really very beautiful, very well done. They've been doing a great job at the World Meeting of Families um, Committee Kate, organizing all of this. Kate, this is Father Reed. You, you bring up um, a very important point that this World Meeting of Families is an international gathering. We think of it, um, you know, in terms of uh, being in Philadelphia and uh, families in our own country, but uh, gathered there, as you mentioned, uh, are people, families from all over the world. But uh, we can't overlook the fact that uh, Pope Francis, whose plane is about to land at uh, Air, Andrews Air Force Base, uh, he is going to be coming to Philadelphia and concluding his trip right there. Uh, there has to be a lot of buzz about uh, the arrival of the Holy Father as well, even uh, a few days out. Well, we actually arrived at the airport, and as we were walking by one of the Hudson newsstands, there were Pope Francis dolls, there was Pope Francis bobble dolls, there were medals, there were books about Pope Francis, there were shirts. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, there's actually a, um, a very famous terminal market around the corner from here, and a ton of the shops that sell, regularly sell food and little items, they've got Pope Francis gear that they're selling as well. So everybody everybody uh, wants to be part of this, I feel like. Philadelphia has really embraced um, the World Meeting of Families, and they're very much excited for Pope Francis to come. They've got jumbotrons up in uh, right near the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, so no no one is going to miss out on when the Pope is at the Parkway for the Mass and the Festival of Families. It's it's going to be all encompassing, and I feel like they're really trying to include everyone. It's, it's well done. Yeah, you you touched a, a little bit on the uh, opening ceremony, um, Katie. I wonder if you could uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, and uh, you, you, I know you uh, managed to get a little bit of a taste of that and what that was like to kick things off there in Philadelphia. It was beautiful, Kevin. It actually opened with the St. Cornelius Children's Choir singing a song called Sound the Bell of Holy Freedom. Bells being a very big part of the ceremony, of course, one of the symbols of, well, now the world meaning of families, but of course Philadelphia being the Liberty Bell. Um, so there were, they sang on the bell of holy freedom and it was very telling that they had children the future of course of our faith of the family opening up this congress and then um archbishop Chapu welcomed everyone to philadelphia of course donna farrell was there who also spoke and she had a lot to say about um how welcoming the city has been to everyone coming in because of course this, this is a huge undertaking and, and she thanked um mayor nutter who was also there for his hard work um, of course, Archbishop Paglia was here as well, who actually announced that Pope Francis is granting a plenary indulgence to anyone who participates in the World Meeting of Families, and that, is, um, that has not been announced yet. That was just announced at the, the opening ceremony, wow. so that is going to be something you can receive. Just by way of explanation uh, to our viewers, I'm sure you've heard of a plenary indulgence, uh, but um, if you follow the conditions, which is um, attending the World Meeting of Families and I have a suspicion that that might even mean attending it uh, here on Catholic TV. Uh, confession, uh, communion, and prayer for the intention of the Holy Father. Uh, a person can be released from uh, punishments that uh, have accrued because of the sins that we might have committed during life. 
we know that we can have our sins forgiven in the sacrament of penance, but the, the punishment remains. So that's a great gift that the Holy Father has given, uh, as you mentioned, announced by the Archbishop of uh, Philadelphia. And Kate, you know, another thing that we've been talking a lot about here the last couple of days and that we've seen uh, in, in the news media is the whole issue of uh, security. Uh, do, do you get a sense there, even before the Holy Father arrives, that, uh, that security is tight? I have noticed a lot more police presence just in Philadelphia, um, especially around the parkway. We're actually staying right near the parkway, so a lot more police presence. Um, there is security when you come into this building. You must have either your press pass or a world meeting of families pass in order to get into any of the, um, even to get upstairs, get into the, any of the exhibits. It's very well monitored. Um, lots of people out there who, lots of volunteers that are out there just amongst the city. And I, I happen to know that they're not only out there to help people who might be new to the city here for the World Meeting of Families, maybe even directing them to tourist attractions, but also to kind of monitor what's going on. Um, there's a lot of, um, jumbo, as I said, there's the Drumbotrons, a lot of police presence around those as well. Um, they have towed cars on the parkway. There's a lot of um, restrictions on parking in the area, and they've already started to shut down the street. Um, so I, I have a feeling that there's not going to be any problems. They, they've kind of left no stone unturned. <laughs> you, you were talking about uh, Cardinal Tagli earlier. Um, I understand, too, there was a, there was a press conference uh, earlier today with him and, and another bishop. Yes, um, well, it was Archbishop Chaput um, and Archbishop Pagliat, of course, the president for the con um, Congregation uh, Pontifical Commission of Families. They did a press conference this morning, um, kind of just for the at the filing center with Ken Gavin, talking about kind of what the press can expect for the next couple of days before the Pope is to arrive. Um, they had a lot to say about the, the um, dynamics of this meeting, of course, over 100 countries are represented here. And as I said, we spoke with someone from Tanzania, um, Ireland, Ukraine. We've seen people from Vietnam, you know, a lot of people represented here. And um, this has been, I believe that there are 17,500 people that are registered for this uh, meeting, making it the largest world meeting of families they have ever had. Hmm, that's, that's very interesting. Uh and of course, it's um, it's an expense too for for families. It's a big sacrifice to be able to to make the journey, especially from outside of the country. 